Yo, how are we doing people? So today, obviously from the title of the video, you've guessed where I'm training. Yes, I'm at the Gymshark Lifting Club. This place is absolutely sick. Um, I'm training with my client Heidi today. Uh, she works here at the socials for Gymshark. So we're gonna get a wicked leg session in. I'm gonna show you about, we're gonna get all the working sets in. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you around this place because it is mega. So this is one of the working sets I did on the hack squat. I was going for a rep range between sort of six and eight, uh, looking around that sort of rep range. So I was going nice and heavy and I was doing five working sets. So I think this is set four, I believe. I think we've got like six reps here, so it's pretty taxing. Um, the way this hack squat is loaded, the weights are actually loaded underneath the machine, sort of rather than at a higher point. So when they're underneath, the drag at the bottom of the machine is really heavy. So when you get to the bottom, it does take a lot of grind to get it back up. Then I jumped onto the leg press. Uh, this is one of the working sets. Again, I did five working sets on here, but ranging from around 15 to 20 reps, just going plenty of volume. So this is how my leg workouts are at the minute. I usually do one sort of big compound lift at the start, going nice and heavy for around five, six to eight reps. And then the rest of it is more lighter, but a lot more volume. Yo, yo, so as you can see, part way through the session, uh, done some hack squats, just gone nice and heavy on there, like five by five. Now with the leg press, just rinsing some sets. Heidi was doing a few bits and pieces for Gymshark Social, ski ride field on there, uh, but now she's jumping in. So we're gonna start on the leg press. I'm gonna do some more sets on there, and then we're gonna whiz round loads of other kit as well. And um, yeah, let's have a wicked session. That's 12.
Good, that's 20. We're going 50, we're going to keep going. We're going to get loads of blood in those legs. Now, a vertical leg press isn't something you see in most gyms, to be fair. There's quite a few gyms that have them, but the ones that I train in most of the time uh, don't have a vertical leg press. So I literally went on here for fun. Um, I just felt like chucking it in the workout and just giving it a blast and see what it felt like. I've been on them before, but um, I just wanted, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to chuck it in there and have a little blast. So I think on here I was going for something like 20 reps again. On these, you definitely don't need as much weight as you would on your conventional leg press, just the way the angle's set up and the way that it's coming down towards you. But so, so good for smashing your quads to bits. I really, really enjoyed using this. Wicked, great control, quality. Nice, S6, same again. Perfect, great depth. Wicked, here we go, last two. Nice. And rack it off, wicked. So what we're doing in this working set, what I'm explaining is we're going to do 10 full reps, getting a full range of motion all the way. And then we're just going to do 10 little squeezes, little partial reps uh, right at the end. So it's going to be full reps first that you'll see that Heidi's doing there. And then at the end, we're just going to get that last little portion, like the last little quarter of the rep and just squeeze them out just to keep that contraction right at the end. And what I'm explaining on the leg extension here, I'm just asking her to point her toes up towards her. So if you point your feet towards you that way, you'll just get a slightly different contraction. You'll just feel it right at the top of the quad. And you can just have really good control on it all the way through. Yeah, absolutely perfect. So, nice, slow way up. 
that's it. Right, steady. Seven, that's it. Five more like that, that's perfect. One, there we go. Two, three. Right, we've got three more. That's it, just nice and steady from the get there. Don't trick it up, just steady. There you go, two more. It's in there. Come on, bring it up. One more. All the way to the top. There you go. And rest. And in this working set, what we're doing is something slightly different. So we're going to start on a really heavy weight. This is one of my favorite things. Um, you've probably seen the, me do this on my YouTube or my Instagram before. So we start off with a really heavy weight and just do 10 partial reps, only moving the weight a third of the way up. So we just do 10 little reps there. Then what you do is take it lighter. So drop it like two or three pins. And then you want to go two thirds of the way up, getting another 10 reps. And then you take even lighter again and then get 10 full range reps. It's an absolute killer. So I've just shown you the ski erg there because somehow, don't know how, but managed to be roped into a little challenge. And the challenge is one-handed ski erg. See how long it takes you to blast through 10 calories. So I've just got to rinse 10 calories on a ski erg, see how long it takes. Um, I think it's gonna be some other people taking part as well. So whoever wins gets a load of free goodies. So here's for a laugh at me doing some one-handed ski erg. So, I just did the ski erg challenge, one arm ski erg, but I did it in uh, like 25 seconds, 10 calories burned. There's a few people that have beat me, but it's all good, we had some fun. Yo, so that's a little wrap up for today. Um, so obviously I didn't get all the training footage on there. Um, I just mainly got a session in and then Heidi jumped in after and we just went for a few bits. Mainly for the purpose of when our coach clients always like to see them face to face. So I always think it's good to actually see them in the training session because they can be following the plan online. But I want to make sure the intensity is on point. So now Heidi really know what she can lift. Um, but it's great to train in this facility, it's amazing. Uh, absolutely loved it, the kit's awesome. Really good vibe, it's like being in a nightclub when I walked in. So um, yeah, it was sick, but yeah. Didn't get everything on here, but I've just shown you a few of the working sets, playing around on the bit of the kit. Um, but it's been a wicked day. Peace out.